Hello Leo, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly love reading for the week of November 11th through the, I mean sorry, November 6th, November 6th through the 13th, 2017. The cards I'm using today are Oracle of the Mermaid cards by Lucy Cavendish. And I close off with my Miss Cleo cards. I like to read those straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. Um, I want to thank everybody for like, share, and subscribing and setting up personal readings with me. Why do I feel like I said this already? So it seemed like some kind of deja vu going on. Like I never felt like this before because I know I say it in every video, but it just feels like a repeat right now. So I'm just going to jump and tell you to check your <laughs> sun, moon, and rising signs and let's get this show on the road, all right? All right, what's going on with the Leo? Leo, Leo, Leo. Love reading. Okay, so, seems like, whew, this is making me feel like they're wraparound. So, somebody is together for three months and then not. So, together for three months, six months, and then not. So, I feel like it's just a reoccurring relationship, okay? I feel like every three months, but I feel like it's been going on for a long time. All right, what's going on with the Leo, Leo, Leo? Leo love reading. Leo love reading. November 6th through the 13th, 2017. Wow, I just saw a lot of stuff. Um, somebody's not sexually attractive. I feel like um, somebody's getting ready to move in with somebody that they're not attracted to. Okay. Okay. Wow. And I feel like they might have a kid there. So uh, I feel like in some cases... Someone is trying to move in with somebody that they're not attracted to. But the person that they're moving in with is attracted to them. But I feel like it's too much baggage in there. But let's go. All right, what's going on? Leo, Leo, Leo. Hmm. All right, so it seems like somebody is coming out of a time when they are having sleepless, sleepless nights, nightmares. All right, so it seems like some things are going to start getting better in the future. And it seems like hope of a better future is helping you get out of your head, Leo. Okay, so it seems like you may be in your head about a relationship that was emotionally draining. But now it's starting to feel like, I feel like in the future you may give somebody a relationship where it's even, give and take. Even give and take here. All right, so it seems like, I feel like you may be still in your head about something that you can't believe something happened in the past. All right, let's see, what are, what are these dreams about? What are these past events that the Leo can't get over for the week of 11, 11, 11, 6 through the 13th? Okay. So it seems like um, it may be a parent of a child or it may be something that happened to your child that you just can't get over with. Or maybe you just can't get over the child's parent. Okay? Other parent. Okay. So I feel like somebody even either gave up a child or um, maybe they possibly aborted a child and it seems like somebody has been uh hurt by this situation a lot in the past and it seems like you possibly might be getting over it now possibly or coming to terms with it i don't feel like you're getting over it okay okay so it seems like somebody feels like you're violating their personal space I'm feeling like this is more of a, a, a past event here. I feel like this is all related to the past. I feel like... You're thinking about how you wasn't like... You wasn't doing your best. You wasn't trying your best in the in the past. You, I feel like you down on yourself right now, or you might have been down on yourself in the past. And I feel like you're thinking about a better future, but I feel like you're thinking about all the stuff that hurts you, 
all the stuff that you chose to look away from all the sacrifices that you made in the in the past and i feel like right now you're hoping for a better future and i feel like it's going to get there i feel like you are going to get to a stable a relationship you know a give and take relationship okay Okay, so it seems like you, yeah, you're thinking about a relationship that you left. You're thinking about that. That's crazy. Okay. All right. So here it seems like you're starting to realize and just know that you're better than the situations that you were going through. Okay. All right, what's going on with the Leo, Leo, Leo? Leo, love reading, Leo, love reading. 11, 6 through the 13th. Leo, love reading. 11, 6 through the 13th, 2017. Leo, 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 love reading. What's going on? What's going on? Leo, Leo, Leo. Leo, Leo, Leo. All right, yeah, there it is again. Like you, you getting out of your head about the past, the past hurt, the past manipulation, the past violations, and you looking up to the future to get, um, get your wishes and your hopes fulfilled. Ooh. So it seems like you've been working hard for this situation, and it seems like it's a relationship that you want. And it seems like you're you're gonna get this relationship. Okay, I'm gonna just put that back in there. All right, Leo, 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 love reading, love reading, love reading. Mm. So it seems like you may be looking for a new job right now. Leo, love reading. All right, so it seems like someone may be, yeah, someone may be looking for a new job. New job or a place to stay or this is where you might find this person, Okay. But I don't know if I said this in the beginning. I read these straight out the book to ensure you get your full message. All right. Yes. Yeah, so it seems like somebody has some choices to make. So I feel like you are getting over your ex, but you're not truly over them. You feel like you still got a choice or this probably could have straight up jumped to job because you may find this person at a new job. So it seems like I feel like you're working hard on both. You know, I feel like you're working hard on a job and you're working hard on the choice to be made. Okay. All right. We're going to start off with the star card. All right. The star is upright. It says a great time for hope for future reflections. A uh, reflection on achievements. Okay, so this makes me feel like, okay, let me finish reading. Okay, a time uh, to look at your life with great hope for the future. Good things are on their way. A wonderful card. This makes me feel like all this horrible stuff that you've been through in the past is going to help you to realize that this person coming in is a good person for you. Because right now, you just like, I feel like you may be a real hard person and it's going to... Um, it's going to be hard to get in there because they got to first prove that they're good enough to be with you. And then it's just like when you see how this person works, you're going to realize that they're a good person for you. Okay. So now we got the page of staffs. Staff, 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 staff. Page, page. All right. It's reversed. It says tunnel vision, seek after work. Seek after material, workaholic, sometimes sarcastic. So this makes me feel like to get over all this other stuff, you just go to work and you work hard and you work hard. That's this. You're working real hard to get over this situation and, and you use work to do it. All right. So now you got the two of coins reversed. It says this uh, card. Okay, that is a coin. Be careful on any papers you may sign. Make sure you understand the offer that is extended to you. Um, emotional intimidation or intimate communication. So it seems like 
somebody is going to be trying to flirt with you. It's maybe somebody that you're getting ready to sign some papers for. It could be a house or a car or even a phone bill or a phone or something like that. And you can, and then it's basically like you got to separate uh, this person trying to flirt with you other than this person trying to buy stuff or sell you stuff, okay? All right, then we got the Eight of Coins. And it's upright. It says, you may find yourself learning a new trade. You will find economic stability, seek opportunities that specialize in your knowledge and learning. So it's basically like somebody may even, this could be the start of a work relationship also. It's like somebody is going to be trying to give you something or sell you something. Or you're going to be trying to give somebody something or sell them something. And then I think that's when you guys are going to connect. I feel like you may be friends for a little while. But I feel like that that's going to be good. It's going to be the foundation for the relationship. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs if you want a personal reading. Check in the description box below. Email me and we can set something up. Other than that, have a wonderful week.